Hello. It is again nice to be here and to be able to be talking with you all. So, we've been talking about Jesus, haven't we? And a few weeks ago, I did a lesson on Jesus telling different stories about how much God loves and wants to find every person who is lost from him. And then, I think last week, you heard from Miss Elizabeth, and she taught about how one of Jesus' friends died, and the sisters were crying and so sad, and Jesus came and told Lazarus, who was dead and buried, to get up, and he did. So, Jesus is doing amazing things, and he is teaching people about God, and they're very a lot of people are really happy to be learning more about God and how God loves them. So we are now coming in uh, to what is called the triumphal entry. That's today's story. And that is the last week of Jesus' life. So there's a lot of different events that happened that last week. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. And it is time for the Passover, which is the Jewish holiday. The Israelites celebrate it. It has to do with Moses long, long ago and how, how God saved the Israelites by taking them out of Egypt. And um, so this, they were getting ready to go into Jerusalem to celebrate this. So I'm reading from the Beginner's Bible. All right, here we go. Make way for the king. Two of Jesus' friends, Jesus asked them, he said, go and find a donkey. It's tied up, and you take it and bring it back to me. Well, they went to the village, and that donkey was right where Jesus told him it would be. And they got it and brought it back for Jesus to ride. So when they brought it back to Jesus, they put their coats on its back in order there's to make like a saddle to make it more comfortable for Jesus to ride on. And Jesus got on. Well, the people then saw Jesus coming. I'm having a hard time reading this. They began to shout with joy, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. They're calling Jesus a king, and they're saying that he comes in the name of the Lord. Not many people would say that they were doing that. And some people, they wanted to honor Jesus because they knew that he was special and that he was doing miracles and he was raising people from the dead, and he was making blind people be able to see, and people who couldn't walk, they could get up. So people were really excited, and they wanted to treat him like he was a king. So some people cut branches off of the palm trees, and they laid those branches on the ground, and they also put their coat on, and this is to honor him. And they sang, they all praised God in loud voices for the wonderful things that Jesus has done. Jesus rode up to the big city of Jerusalem and the crowds followed him. Hosanna, Hosanna. They were so excited. But you know what? There was someone who was not excited, a lot of someones. They were some of the leaders of the religious people. They got angry. Maybe they were a little jealous but they were really upset. See how those people are following Jesus now? They don't follow us anymore. Boy, we must get rid of Jesus. Oh my goodness. That's what they said. Okay, well, that's where I'm gonna stop with this. So, the, 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 priests and the scribes, that's the religious leaders, well, they heard the children shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. Well, Jesus' father's name was Joseph. That's what they knew. 
and then they asked Jesus, do you hear what these children are saying? And Jesus said, yep, even the children will praise me. Well, the leaders were very upset because nobody is supposed to be treated like a king because the Israelites, they don't have kings anymore. So this is the story that leads up to the story for these next few weeks. So just to remind you, um, Jesus sent his two friends. They, he told them, go and you will find this donkey just right in this one place. And you can take that donkey, which, in, which if you think about it, that's kind of weird. There's a donkey there that he can just take. That's not usual, but it was what Jesus knew was going to be there. So how did people show that they were that they were happy to see Jesus? Yep, that's right. They laid their robes and they laid palm branches down. So, and who wasn't happy? Nah, the religious leaders weren't happy because they weren't following them anymore. So also there's another story that we didn't have in this book today, but during the time that week, Jesus went in to God's holy temple and there was people just selling stuff kind of like you know, somebody coming and as we're in the middle of our church service they're they're selling popcorn and candy that's not what we do during our Sunday service that would that's not right that's not honoring God and and Jesus saw all these people selling things in a way that was not honoring to God, and he got angry. We don't hear about Jesus getting angry very much, but he flipped the tables up, and he said, you're not supposed to be doing this. That was a surprising thing. So we know that Jesus rode a donkey, probably a dirty brown donkey, into the city. But you know what we're told when Jesus comes back again? He's going to be riding on this bright white stallion. Not some lowly little ugly donkey. He's going to be on a stallion because it's going to be magnificent when Jesus comes back. So what did Jesus do to save us? He died on the cross and he rose from the dead. And those things we'll be talking a little bit more in the weeks that come. So. Look forward to doing this the next time. See you all later. Bye-bye.